A recent UN report has warned that climate change is threatening the world's food supply, but technology is coming to the rescue. So researchers here are looking into how precision agriculture and urban farming can help meet the food demand, including in Singapore. Now for more, Professor Michael Strano from the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, or SMART, joins us here in studio for more on this. Now, first of all, give us a sense of then how technology is sort of changing the way farmers work. Well, modern farming is, is increasingly using remote sensing to collect in, information about crops and then uh, using that to make decisions and, and, and manage them at a very gra granular level. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this is taking the form, for, for, for example, you can determine in, in real time where to distribute seeds and fertilizer. And, uh, and this is um, in increasing agricultural uh, yields can considerably. Uh, we, we, we call this uh, technological trend of using information uh, at a granular level to manage crops and then make decisions. We, we call that pre precision agriculture. So that is precision agriculture, high potential area, because it uses, as you mentioned, their data analytics to maximize yield. How well positioned is Singapore then to utilize this? Singapore is uh, making a number of strategic investments. They, they, they fund my work through the, through the SMART pro pro program. S SMART is, a, is, an, uh, is MIT's research enterprise in Singapore, and it allows uh, engineers like, like myself to partner with Singapore researchers like the Thomasic Life Science Laboratory uh, and, and other collaborators in the ecosystem here to make technologies that address this, the, this kind of problem. Okay, and how does sort of, when we talk about urban farming, because that sort of is where Singapore is sort of at with, without so much sort of land resource, how does sort of the, the changes, what sort of changes in technologies are we seeing that will help us? So in urban farming, the, the idea is, is the same. You want to collect information on the plant and then you want to use computational models and feed that back into uh, con controlling the conditions that promote plant, plant growth. The, the, uh, the bottleneck there is we need new technologies to collect in, in for information. It starts with in information. So my, my center um, called the Di Dis Disruptive and Sustainable Technologies for agricultural per precision, we're, we're making uh, new sensors that can d uh, collect information on plant signaling. Plants, you can think of them as, as uh, producing information that travels all throughout the organism. And for the first time, we can tap that information, uh, use it in real time, and, and control growth. So what about major agriculture producers, you know, especially the developing ones? What should they be doing in order to um, tap on the opportunities that, you know, uh, that, that precision agriculture is actually providing right now? They should continue on the, on the trend of, of turning agriculture into, a, in, into an informational business. Um, this, this trend of increasingly relying on, on, on data and then you, using that, feeding that back in to make management de decisions. It's only go, go, go going to, to, to increase uh, tools like machine learning. Learning and, and, and AI are going to significantly enhance the, the utilization of that data. Well, Singapore has quite an ambitious goal of being 30% sort of meeting its 30% of its nutritional needs by 2030. How realistic do you think that is, and how do you see technology playing a part in it? I think I think I think it's it's an ambitious goal, and I give um, I give the Singapore leadership a lot of credit for um, for defining it as 30 per percent of of Singapore's nutritional needs, not not defining it in terms of just raw tonnage or or or, cal or calories. And I think that's very forward looking. At, it re reflects uh, con consumers' in, in interest in uh, in high nutrition and uh, medically uh, uh, useful food foodstuffs uh, in terms of, uh, of their diet. Uh, it's too soon to determine whether um, whether I can frame a metric for, for that, but I think it's a, it's a very amb ambitious goal. It's very forward-looking. Okay, well, we, we'll be watching closely to see how we progress with this and also how you progress with your projects as well. Thank you so much, Professor Michael Strano from the Thank Singapore you. MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, also known as SMART.